Oh. Delicious, man. Sweet pea. What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for joining me today. Come a little closer. You read the title. Some of you may be confused. Those of you that follow me for quite a while know we had some discussion on this particular item. And the reason we did is I just, I don't know. I didn't see... Nothing really pulled me towards this device, you know? And it just, it just didn't. Uh, you know, we're going to talk about all that coming up. We have a lot to get to. We're, obviously, we're going to build it. We build everything. If it's an atomizer, we usually build it. I try to build everything, you know, because there's, there's just so much, so many different techniques and, and variations on building, and I don't know, I just really enjoy doing it. That's, that's kind of my thing. I just, I just love to build, and, and hopefully that if I do something during it, you know, you can learn from it. That's what I've always hoped for, you know? Very cool. Kaboom! Maybe not. I almost need another light on. Wow. Yeah, I almost need another light on. Let's see, man. Maybe? I hope so, man, because we have a lot to cover. Oh, enough decking around. Let's take it down, man, and get into this one, babe. So good to see you guys, man. Here we go. Yeah. Come on, man. There we go. Congreve proudly presents competition Doge V2. Still under my original Doge video. Everybody's still arguing about what to call this. Guys, I'm just calling it the Doge. And I will always call it the Doge. Doge. You know? There he is. As you can see, he's holding up two. Like, version two. Hopefully it'll focus up. Nice packaging here, as always. Um, you know, shipping-wise, everybody's just on their game with packaging lately. Let's pull this off. You're greeted with this box, you know. You guys know it, love it. I'm going to set that off to the side. Oh, before I forget, we're also going to announce the winner during this video. So, be ready to email me, man. Whoever won, be ready to email me. Right here, you know, got some lettering. Very nimble. Much air. I has already beaten you. This will be piece of cake. Super doge away, and he's all flying. Check him out, dude. He's stoked. Just came off the top of that mountaintop. Just what? He's about to do the super fly snooker splash, dude, on this guy. Brutal. Brutal. He's like, no. Look at all that freaking vapor, dude. Doesn't matter. Super doge is in there. Let's do this. Let's open this thing up. First thing you're going to notice two slots. One's got the bag of tricks. Let's might as well bust into that right now bag of tricks I have four screws a stainless steel center post okay four let's see nope three stainless steel screws stainless steel 510 pin connect you know 510 connection pin whatever you want to call it uh, blue screwdriver o-rings and a set of the three-piece peak insulator square set not great square yes yes no more round, man. Like, we're, we're sick of spinning center posts. It's, it's old. It's terribly old, man. And, it, and it's, it's fucking with my zen, dude. Okay? Square, baby. Yes. I'm going to set that off the side. And boom. Addy comes right out. You know, this bag doesn't open or anything like that. And so I can go ahead and move that over, too. Uh. You know, the looks of it are just sexy to me. 
Uh, you know, obviously the look is just spectacular, man. Um, it's sleek, it's clean. It's like the curves of a lady, man. Right. Um, got some air injection. I believe that's exactly what they're calling it. Um, an air injection, uh, supposedly what they say is it, is it cools the vapor and increases expansion inside the tip, which does make sense. That actually does make sense. I don't know. I like the idea. I like the idea of that. Does it work? We'll talk about that later. Um, slim down 14 millimeters competition tip. This thing is huge, man. Huge. And we're going to start from the top and work away the bottom. We're going to talk about O-rings, all that. They went ahead and uh, on the engravings they put much and then 57,000 of these things out there at least, dude. Oh my god. Just churning them out. Look at that. Good lord. I mean, I think at this high of a number there's really no point in serial numbers, you know what I mean? Then again, it does kind of differentiate yours versus somebody else's, which is cool. Man. Just, Just thinking out loud there. Let's start from the top, man. Okay, boom. Pop that off. We have three. Count them. One, two, and three. All right. Um, you know, 11 millimeters by 2.5 millimeter intake slots. They are fully adjustable, single or dual. Um, from what I understand, this is an updated cap from the original. This also fits the V1 as well, which is kind of cool. Um, they went ahead and went long as far as you know the length of just flatness up here if you notice in there which is nice because when you open up the screws all the way you can still fit your cap in there so no matter what gauge of wire you use this won't be smacking in the top of your screws which is great really cool on the even a little conical on the edge up there good on them now there's that air intake hole going in an upwards fashion I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but um, yeah, yeah. All right, so there you go. You know, adjusting is pretty good. o rings are great. So when it's wet, it gets pretty loose, but adjusting it, it's like not bad at all. But once it, it's like anything, when it gets wet, it's gonna be really loose. But I've never really had it go for no reason. You know, it, it tends to stay where I put it, and, and I'm happy with that. And I'm happy with that. Pop that off. I've got them open up all the way. I'm going to put it on tender to pull the barrel off. Now, like I was talking about squared center post, this thing's got a keyed center post, which is great, man. And here's the barrel. Standard fare here. Except for he's holding up the deuces. Deuce in it. The double deuce. Stoked. Dude, Everyday Ghost is so sick, man. Check out the link in the description if you want to check out his band, man. They're killer. Yeah, very cool. Graving, you know, it's what you're used to. Now, what I love is this deck. I am ecstatic about this deck. Um, I've literally fallen in love with this thing. Big, massive screws here. Uh, they went with a thicker threading. Uh, what that's going to do is prevent stripping quite a bit more, and especially with copper screws. And I'm going to hopefully I can get this in there. The bottom of my screws are pretty mangled just from tightening it down on wire, different builds and stuff like that. But it's pretty mangled. And I've noticed when you go to unscrew the screws themselves, it kind of catches uh, because it really digs into the wire because copper's soft. That's its nature. Right. Flat head. Uh, screws here to, to, you know, resist stripping versus a Phillips. Uh, with copper, that makes sense. I'm not a big fan of the flathead, though it's not too big of a deal. And I'll, I'll hopefully I'll remember to talk to you about. It. Sometimes I get on here, man, and I'm just like, dude, I'm gonna talk about this, and I never do. And I apologize, man. I'm gonna try and remember to do that. Uh, peak insulators. I have not had a single problem with this. I threw some 18 gauge in here and just went to town, and you're looking at it. No issues, man. No issues. I just cleaned it. I got a little goop on there. Pay no mind to that. 
it just rubs right off. That's just from just barely cleaning it. Uh, they went a one millimeter deeper than the original. You can kind of see the milling effect on there. Uh, pretty generous, very thick, thick lip on this deck. The name of the game here is keeping your coils on the inside really close to that center post. Why? Why, Trevor? That makes no sense. Look how wide this is. All right. So you have your barrel here. Okay. Add this. And look at that. I mean, it, it takes up so much space in there. Not quite as thick as the lip. Man, it takes up some serious space in there. Uh, the name of, with coil building, you want your coils just suspended in air, not touching anything. That's like a huge deal. Not touching anything. So you gotta remember, looking down at this, we don't have much room to play with here. I don't like that. I don't, I'm not a big fan of this top cap as well. And we're gonna talk about that when we get it built. Uh, also, this pin here, very, very long. And, you know, when you put it on, I got my fear box here, just on anything I put it on. When you put it on, there's only a certain point you can really go to, and there's a big, there's a gap in there. Now, the gap's not that big. But what I want to talk about here is when your atomizer does this, like, like it's done right there. You go any more than that, you're going to crush your spring in your box mods. Okay, this isn't the place with any atomizer, not just the Doge V2. This is no place to keep spinning because you're going to crush that spring, rendering this box completely useless. And if that happens to my fear box, dude, I would cry. I would cry, dude. So, uh, do I mind that gap? Not too much, man. Like, not too much. Reason being is it's going to keep the heat off the, off the box a little better. So I'm okay with that. Right. Put this up here. Now, looking at this airflow, it's fully adjustable. So you can build it really any way you want. Um, three millimeter po eyelets there, I mean, they're huge. They're huge. I mean, you have room for days, you know? Um, I am going to be building pretty low today, all right? You should be using very high-quality batteries, 30 amps or greater. I prefer the Red Imran 38 amps, all right? And I'll show you what I'm dealing with. This is what I'm going to be using today, all right? Triple parallel. There's the Imran's. Those are what I prefer. And I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description all right, to where they are. Uh, MOSFET protected box. I feel very comfortable with this. If you don't feel comfortable with this build, you shouldn't build it. Okay, Let's build this sucker. It's going to come out pretty low. Right, a little lower than I would like. So to speed up some time, I went ahead. I went ahead and already got one done. Seven wraps, 22 gauge nichrome 80, around an eighth bit. There's one. Seven wraps, eighth bit. Nice tight micro coil. Seven. All right, take my pliers. I'm really going to pull down on these lead. One lead at a time. I'm going to pull down, push away reason I'm doing that is I really want this coil, I want both coils the same circumference. And I want them uniform and I want them identical in every way that I possibly could do it. You're not going to be perfect, man. Right? You're not going to be perfect. There we go. And there's little gaps, you know, in coils and stuff like that. You know, like that, that gap right there. Dude, we can clean that up. Don't ever stress stuff like that. But what I want you to concentrate on is whatever you're wrapping around, that you wrap it around there nice and tight and snug, okay? You want them uniform and round and tight. Let's pop it in. Now, we talked about the eyelets. 
um, these just fall right in, you know. Yeah, I don't have to put in the screwdriver or anything. It just flops right in. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start. I'm going to do one coil at a time. I got one here. The spacing is not very much, as you can see here. I'm probably going to go to about right there because I'm going to be pushing these in as far as I can. And grab my flathead. And I'm going to tighten down this... Uh, this negative right here, this ground one. And as I'm tightening it down, you're going to see something. It's going to pull the coil. See that? So I'm going to put my finger right there. I'm going to hold it down. Pretty good. That's good. Just snug enough. Let's pop in the next one here. And it, like I said, it shouldn't be any problem at all for you to just pop it in plenty of room in those eyelets and we're just gonna eyeball it here kind of get it you know about the same as the other one and I'm gonna go ahead and put my finger there because remember that's gonna be there to hold that coil in place so I'm gonna put pressure on the coil with my finger as it snugs up that's good and when you start to see the coil kind of deform like that I stop because now I'm gonna get on top here and I'm going to snug up the middle. Now, with big eyelets like this, I'm going to go ahead and let this continue to do what it's doing. And I don't know if I'm going to get it in the shot. I'm going to try. Do you see how that one's running up the side of the screw? See that? that there we go you don't want that right in the center post you see that see how there's all that air but the, the, the wires running up the side of the screw when you have these big eyelet atomizers you gotta watch that right? you have to watch that why that's gonna cause some serious hot spots for one and um, shorts, okay? It's just it's just not a good connection. So what I like to do, one finger on the coil pushing inwards. This one on the lead of the other coil pushing towards it. So I'm pushing them together. And I'm going to continue to do this. I'm going to go up and I'm going to go back until it catches. And if that doesn't work, you can always give it just the slightest little bend, just like that. And I feel like that's tightening up pretty decent. That's great. Now they're really, they're on the very bottom of the screw. Now that I got that, I'm going to let raise everything to the sky. Now everything's, not everything's completely snug down at this point. Okay, clip some lead. I'm just going to kind of shave off its lattice here. And I'm going to go back in. Start in the negative. Get it nice and snug. There's going to be some deformity here uh, with your coils. Pay no mind to that. We will be fixing it. I've never had a spinning center post with this. Let's see. Where did that? There it is. Grab that eighth bit. Now, obviously, the coils themselves are kind of ratty. Right. So I'm going to go ahead, use what you got handy, push up these leads towards the sky. I'm going to reinsert and I'm going to do some adjusting. Put it in and I'm going to push it towards the center. And I'm going to lift up just a hair as well. Basically I'm just kind of getting a ballpark idea here. And then I'm going to tighten down again. Pay really close attention to these that they're completely that they're close and snug to the center and ground posts and that they're as centered as you can possibly get them because under no circumstances do we want these touching anything that's great 
like I'm really happy with that. That one came, was a little loose. Right, now I can come in here and really shave off these leads. Well, getting snug. Whatever you don't get, we're going to push up towards the post to really kind of keep them where they are. Got my finger holding onto the coil wire as I'm clipping. Yeah, shout out to Colossal Clouds, man, for, for sending this out and let me play with it. And, and uh, you know, it, it's awesome. It's been a lot of fun playing with this Addy. I'm gonna get up on top of it, kind of level it out. And I feel like that's pretty good. And I'm going to kind of show you where I'm sitting here in just a sec. Look at it. I mean, as far as levelness, they're not the most level. But as you look at them right here, I want them flat. And I want them high. The bottom of my coils is pretty much on the, bo on the bottom of the eyelets as far as raised goes. I want the airflow to come in from underneath and then up and I feel like they're nice and snug here I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda I'm gonna leave that one right where it is but I'm gonna take these kinda scrappy leads and just kinda press them up against the post just simply give them a press that crumb's pretty malleable you know you can kinda make it do what you want and that's the build we have some uh we have, at least I think, nice and centered, you know, off that lip as best we can. Um, we're obviously going to pinch and strum it out here. Let's measure it and see where we're sitting. Again, Nichrome tends to measure a little low at first. Um, but it's, like I said, this is going to be low. And, yeah, like it always does. You know, it's saying 0 0.07. Um, after we fire it, put some heat to it, it's going to come to its original, um, you know, resistance. And you'll see what I mean after we fire it. And we'll measure it again. Okay, so I got it here on my fear box. And I could probably even wick on the fear box. We'll see. So here we are, man. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pulse it. And we're gonna until we got some red. And I'm gonna end up pinching these out. Again, it's all about a nice snug micro coil. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna hold that pinch because I want them to be, you know, like I said, nice and tight here. But do you see how close they are to the to the posts without touching? That's kind of what you're going for. And I'm holding my pinch here. And I think from here we can strum it out. There we go. Yeah, it's not bad. That's not bad at all. Middle out. Yeah, I'm good with that. I'm really good with that. And you know what? I think I am going to wick it on the tender foot. So I'm going to pull this off. Set this bad boy right back up where we had it. Yeah, careful taking off when you, when you do this fire maneuver here that you don't burn your fingers taking off your atomizers, man. I'll go ahead and measure it again. Point one eight. All right. Again, um, you know you should be using you know devices that can handle this. Parallel box mod should handle this, no problem. Uh, you know, but it's very important that you use a high quality battery. 
Samsung 25Rs. Like I said, I, I stick with the Imran's. They have not, I have not had one go south on me. They're workhorses, and it's just, it's a, uh, they're just great batteries, and that's what I recommend, man. So 0 0.18, 17, 0.18 ish. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and thread that on. So there we go, and I feel really happy with this build because I feel like they're nice and level. Let me focus you in a little better. Oh yeah, that's wicked. So I have some Muji. You guys ever heard of Muji? You can get it on Amazon. This and this and this. Let me get some stuff here. I had. There we go. And I simply cut my piece off, nice thick piece, and I put a little angle in it. And that little angle is where I'm gonna put my little twist. Now wicking this, all I want to do is I want a nice snug. Uh, you know, nice snug fit through the coils. All right, let's go ahead and st I'm going to start it here, and I'll pull it through on your side. I'm going to take that point, pull it through, right. and I'm just going to pull it. That's great. Give it a little twisty. Mm, a little. Mm, I'm happy with that. Just like that, and I'll show you where to cut it. I'm gonna repeat. Same thing, twist it up, give it a nice twist, kind of roll it out, kind of make sure all the frillies uh, that are poking off the side, just kind of tuck them into itself. I'm gonna start it on my side again and finish it on yours. So I pull it through. So as I pull this way, I'm gonna pull this way at the same time and then drag it through all at once. Nice smooth motion. That's good. That's great. Very happy with that. Where am I going to clip it? I'm going to clip it pretty much right on the deck. Just barely off. Barely off. Just like that. Again. Take them. Pinch them together. Pull them as straight as you can get it. Just off the deck. Just off the deck. And from here it's very simple. Very, very simple. I'm going to take my smallest screwdriver or whatever you like to use use what you like to use but in this case small screwdriver and I'm just gonna simply start from the bottom I'm gonna drag it under until it flops into the deck that's it that's it that's all I'm doing um, also I'm going to stick my micro in there and I'm gonna push it back towards the corner like that just tuck it all back down in that corner because we want a nice hefty pocket here again just just till it falls in and it fell in notice I'm not like jamming compressing cotton as my boy maestro would say what's up Stro? I hope you're out there man and nice and fluff here and as you can see I'm really pushing everything back towards the corner of the deck because see that so you can see how much all that deck that's what I want let's do it again just till it pops in. Just till it pops in. Okay. Popped in. Give it a little comb. And push it back towards the corner. Listen to that shit, dude. It's going off. All right, there we go. And again, just till it falls in there. Boom. It's going to look like it's not going to flop down into the deck, but it will. Have faith, man. Just barely outside the deck. Push everything back towards the corners. As long as you can see deck, you did a really good job there, man. Give it a little... So, we were talking about the top cap, which is pretty much the downfall of this atomizer, in my opinion. And that's just my take, and I'm like, by no means, dude, in any in, no, dude, I'm not the authority. I'm just not. When you put this over this, alright, let's say, look, pretend you have your barrel on there. We gotta put this on. Boom, dude. Boom, look at that. I mean, even how close I have it to those posts, it's barely clearing. It's clearing. 
but barely. And I mean barely clearing. So, it's going to catch, see I just cut that cotton right there. It's going to catch, when, when it comes down through the barrel, it's going to push down on this cotton. Right? So, not only do we have to do it here, as far as tucking the cotton, um, but after we put the cap on, we're going to go ahead and go through the airflow hole and adjust the cotton as well. Let's put on the barrel. And, of course, as stated before, I want the airflow coming from underneath the coils and right in front of them. And we did pretty good there. See how it's underneath? All right, there's level. But you see how it kind of, we'll just go ahead and push that out of the way now. I basically don't want cotton. Sometimes when you put your barrel on, you can kind of see cotton kind of take up the corner of your airflow hole. Dude, push that out of the way. You don't want that obstructing anything. Okay, and we're gonna go wide open. And we are, and I think we're good. Maybe this one. But like I said, I just kinda go in through the airflow hole, and all I'm doing, all I did was just push it over. So there we go, man. She's all done. Huge bore, look at that. Let's go ahead and, uh, Get you back into auto. Get you back up top here. That's good enough, man. Let's throw in the box. I got some juice here. I got some uh, some juice that I make. Thread this on. So there's a look on the box mod there. Pretty good looking. I guess some of my this is something I made. We're just gonna juice it up. I want to thank you guys for going checking out Colossal Clouds, dude. Pretty cool company. Uh, they're very passionate about this vaping thing. And it, it's just great to see, man. Very cool. So, you, as you can see, what I'm doing here is I'm juicing it up. And as I kind of put juice on the coils, I hit the fire button and it pulls the juice into the coils. This is my cloud chasing juice that I make. Oh, great. It's pretty good. Double checking this cotton. You know, if any gets in the way, after you get it wet, you can kind of really see, it kind of blooms the cotton, and you kind of really see the frillies. Um, get rid of them. Just push them off to the side. It should be wide open, coming from underneath the coil. Just like that. We're juiced up, man. Let's do it. Let's see what she's got to offer. You know, performing really well. I'm very happy with that. Music. What? Dude, I cannot have that. No way. Okay, so right away, top cap's getting hot, blazing hot. That's its downfall with this atomizer. Now, I've kind of looked around looking for options to fix this. And I, everything I'm seeing will fit, but with those screws being as white as they are, and big and chunky as they are, which is great, uh, I don't see any chuffs that are going to fit it. Um, some say Doge V2, and to me, from the pictures, it won't fit. Uh, it's got to be able to clear those posts. So if you're thinking of just buying this atomizer, and you'll just get a chuff for it, they all won't fit, man. Nothing I own fits. But other than that, I love the deck. It's super easy to build on. You see, follow that that little tutorial, if you want to call it that. Keep them close and tucked into those posts, man, and keep them up. All right, the bottom of the coil should touch the bottom of the eyelet, or be the same height as the bottom of the eyelet, I should say. And you'll be fine. Um, touching this, it's, it's pretty warm.
why this build? The reason I chose this build is you can actually get like a good, you know, five to eight heads out of it before you have to set it down and let it cool off. Everything else I found really scorched, really scorched this top cap, man. Not to mention it's a great babe. So, <laughs> and that's it wide open, dude. Let's get to the winner. Thank you so much, Colossal Claus. A lot of fun, man. I love the deck on this thing. So if you thought about the Doge V2, hopefully I gave you a good enough look, man, to make up your you know make up your mind. I love the deck, and there's a lot of barrels that fit this deck, which is great, man. All right, let's talk about the giveaway. The winner, the winner is Crankbot 286. All right, Crankbot 286, man. It's all cleaned up and ready to go. I left the build in it. It's wicked. All you need to do is add a battery, a nice high quality, high drain, tough battery, dude. Juice it up and vape it. You're good to go. And you know what, man? I'll throw this in with it. It's my cloud chasing, three milligram, dude. I'll throw it. It's a strawberry milk, dude. So there you go. Congratulations, Crankbot286. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for going and checking out the page, liking the page. Colossal Clouds is doing great things. They're constantly doing events. They're challenging other shops all the time to, to step their game up, dude. Like, It's very cool to see. It's very cool to see a group of people so passionate about vaping. And I am too, man. So I, I feel like it's a great relationship, dude. Let's end this. Let's end this. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at tjvapingreviews at aol.com or just simply comment down below, man. Congrats. Crankbot. Uh, let's end this, man. Classic form, dude. Classic form. Is that how we do it? That's not how we do it. Classic form, dude. See you guys. <laughs> Bless it.